Hey, what's up with that bag we stole from Mecca? What else was in there? I don't know, and I don't give a fuck, all right? You're always a step ahead. And you make sure we see what's coming. Looking in that fucking bag makes you smart. I only read a few pages. Copy their bank accounts. Some are for Zeke, me, Drew, Kane, and Monet. What mistake? That night, I went to go see my car at the hangar. So I wanted to talk about the destruction of the Tejada family and where everybody's going to actually go in this season and in the future seasons as well. And also the Castillo family, because when you look at the Castillo family, they've been taking hit after hit. First, they lost Frank and then they lost Gordo. So if there was like any sort of like murder investigation or any anything to be like for them to be pinned on, wouldn't you think they would just lean on the Castillo family like, well, they was dealing with the Russians and. If they want to, like, knock out uh, two two birds in one stone or whatever, you would kind of just flip everything on them, right? But then at the same time, they know too much as well. But I don't know. I felt like they might just sacrifice them as well because why not? They've already killed two of their family members, so why not just throw them underneath the bus as well, right? And I also wanted to talk about, too, is about, like, everything that's like going on, like, regarding the Tejada family because... We already seen like Kane's already sim starting to simp for Effie, but I also wonder too like will everything come back in full circle? Because if anybody remember back in season two where, you know, Tariq gave Diana the bag and that's when he told her not to look in the bag, but then she told Lorenzo about the bag and then him accidentally killing Zeke. And remember in the car when when Kane asked Tariq, he was just like, so what was in that bag? And he was just like, well, I don't know, but he does know. So I'm kind of wondering if they're going to go full circle around that. Technically, it was really Tariq that destroyed the family because he gave the bag to Diana, but it was really Diana's fault. So you can make the argument that it was really both of them, that it was their fault in intentionally, right? Um, and I'm kind of wondering if that's going to be the thing. But again, we don't know because... When you look at Monet's character, Monet is really evil. Like she's really like that spiteful woman. And every time that I count her out of, as for her not to like make it out of it, she can because right now you can make the argument she would only have potentially like maybe one enemy, maybe two, because she's keeping Diana under a lock where she's not having her, you know, leave because Diana is her character is somewhat similar to Lulu, as I said before where she doesn't even want to be a part of the game anymore. She wants to go to college, and she wants to do her own thing, but Monet is constantly having her under her thumb because she doesn't want her to go, and she's like, no, you're going to stay here. And then at the same time, you have Drew, who's completely heartbroken and lost, and he doesn't. He, he's looking for answers. He's looking for love, but the Castillo family is going to approach him and be like, well, so about Gordo and this and that, and hopefully if they explain, if somebody explains to him that well it was really Monet that came to us about it because Lorenzo killed Frank which wasn't true or had the order for Frank to get killed which wasn't true so he's going to be even more confused so again hopefully like the story comes back in full circle as to why Lorenzo killed um Zeke by an accident like it wasn't his fault because he was fed you know information but it again it shouldn't have been like kept a secret he should have not known that because then it made him go crazy in the first place so you can even make the argument that yeah it was really Tariq's fault as well as the reason why the Tejada family is somewhat broken I and I hope they do that I really do but here's the thing there's two people that's in like quite a dilemma you have Kane and you have Monet because at the same time Monet is really using drew because she's like well yeah drew is going to be the one to take over but at the same time she's trying to keep drew under control but then she wants to keep she basically wants to keep everybody in control but the thing is kane is already moving his own way after his teachings from mecca and and the way he's been moving so far he's he's trying to do his own thing and move separately but here's the thing what if i don't know for something something to happen since both Kane and Effie is a thing. What if there's a, a, a setup for Kane to go to prison? What if there's a setup? Like, well, what if it was he had Effie try to kill Lauren, 
right? But like Tariq could do some evil shit to have it be like, hey, uh, you know, let's set this up. Like you know, they they both go in for some shit because you already seen it in the trailer that Kane was trying to have Effie flip on Tariq. Like man, fuck him. Just this snitch on Tariq, right? We could be together, and he goes to jail. But it's jealousy. That's what's really pushing Kane so far. It's really jealousy because Monet looks at both Drew and. Tariq but she really favors on Tariq because Tariq is smart and he's always able to give her like the best solutions and the outcome anytime she needs it and at the same time Drew is loyal and Kane he's just her soldier as she said in season two like yeah she he's her son and her soldier and and the gun that she always needs every time there's like a, a situation that needs to be handled and dealt with he's not the guy that comes up with smarter decisions and plans but She's afraid because now he's starting to think for his own. He's starting to come up with solutions and plans that she's losing her control over him. So what would be the best option? If you can't control somebody any further, you either A, you kill that person or B, you send them away. So if she can't control Kane like she can control Diana and Drew, then the best option would be to set Kane up, right, and have Kane go to jail. But then... Ooh, but then it makes things interesting because then you have Diana. Diana is also under control of Monet, and Monet doesn't want her to go anywhere as well. So then it would leave Mo, it would leave Diana in a situation where it's like, well, if I can't have my perfect life, then you have to go to, to jail. So it's like it's very really interesting that as a, as a dilemma. Oh, and lastly, I forgot. If Drew ever finds out about the story or, or the real truth that it was really Monet that had Lorenzo kill, then you would have a really pissed off Drew, and mm, he probably could kill his bombs. I'm just saying, it's a possibility, because like, he's already broken. He's already heartbroken about everything. So, I mean, because I don't know. Like, I don't know. So, everybody's, like, in a real really stuck situation it's like a, it's a triangle <laughs> it's a triangle of some fuck shit that can happen between all three of them but like i said you can never count out monet because monet is smart she will always come up with something even despite if we count her out or we don't see certain things she will always some somehow come out on top so like i said before if she can't control kane don't want to kill him now maybe he can do some time right Maybe he can go in if you can't kill him, you can't control him. But then at the same time, it's the same way with Diana. You, you, you're controlling her and she wants to have her own freedom and her own life. So I don't know. That's why I said in this, this season, both of them are kind of stuck in a dilemma. They both stuck because either one is going to die. Well, I don't see any of them die. I, I, I would just see like somebody's getting jailed. That, that's what I think. I, I think that somebody would probably get jailed instead of like avoiding death. Because let's just say... Out of fear, she fears that maybe, I don't know, maybe if not Diana, maybe Drew or whatever, out of fear, like maybe her kids probably might try to kill her. Then what if she self sacrifice Well, but then again, that's not Monet's character to even do that. So I would even go, I would even say that. I wouldn't even say that. I think, like I said, some it, it would even be between Kane or Monet that would probably like take the hit. That's what I think. But in order for that to happen, I really do hope that the story comes back in full circle because the destruction of the Tejada family was really in that bag in which Tariq gave the bag over to Diana. So I'm kind of hoping that that story comes back in full circle so that way we can start the story having the story of Tariq versus the Tejada family, which I'm kind of hoping we can get to because, again, this was really Tariq's fault of even giving the bag off in the first place and having this whole thing happen because Lorenzo wouldn't have not killed Zeke if he would have not known what was in the bag. And that bag should have always should have been kept secret from him. So again, you can blame it on Diana that it was it was her fault that Lorenzo died. You can blame it on Tariq that it was his fault for even giving up the bag. So at the end of the day, who's really at fault for this? And I'm kind of hoping that this comes back in full circle. But, you know, let me know in the comment section down below on what do you think of the destruction of the Tejada family is going to be going forward regarding like Drew, Kane, Diana, you know, like, like what you think is going to actually happen like in Monet as well. Like, like what you think is actually going to happen? And do you think that the Castillo family is going to be perfect for an obviously a sacrifice? Because again, 
they've just been there taking hit after hit after hit and i don't i don't even see them like surviving this season if they're not gonna die if like i don't know if drew or maybe monet or whatever don't have these people killed then i think they would be perfect as sacrifices for the feds or something which i'm leaning towards that like, they probably might be but who knows who knows but uh yeah you know like comment subscribe and share and i will catch you all in the next one Thank <music> you.